Welcome back Guardians in this video we are looking at all three of my level 34s. I had them all to level 34 last week during Trials of Osiris when I went 9-0 flawless and get, kept getting a ferric lights. But I wanted to show you my grimoire score, my characters, what items I've got, what chest pieces, armors, helmets, etc, etc and what I've upgraded to. So these are my three characters. Firstly we have the Warlock who's wearing the Queen's Web Shader and some Egyptian stuff. We've got the Titan who was just doing the Prison of Elders yesterday so he's set up that way. And we have my Hunter who is set up for Crucible. So anyway, let's go into the first character and have a look at him. So we're here on the Warlock who has the Prison of Elders ship and let's have a look at all the stuff. So in terms of weapons, they are all over in the Vault or on my Titan who was running Prison of Elders yesterday. I kind of just switch the weapons between each character as I'm using them and um, I have a whole bunch of other weapons which I need to reforge and get them to the perks that I want but anyway I've upgraded the last word in the red death um, I need to re-roll this this is actually quite a good fusion rifle that I've got on this character um, aiming this weapon increases effective range and the weapon re the magazine refills when the super is cast we got the icebreaker upgraded and the chosen which is one I just got the other day uh, pretty decent again with the magazine refilling I'm, fe I'm feeling like it might be a good idea to have in something like trials of osiris get your ammo back and snipe away and then just some other stuff but over here in the armors we have my fully upgraded vault of glass no crota's end feet with them carry more heavy ammo and we've got carry more ammo for scout rifles and hand cannons which i'm not really going to use but i've just got them there ready we have the Egyptian chest piece fully maxed out for fusion rifle and scout rifle. We've got all three exotic ch chests maxed out and the iron banner stuff maxed out as well. The chest piece for iron banner. Um, I have some gauntlets. I can't, I can't even remember where these are from. But it has increased reload speed with hand cannons and increased melee speed. Which is going to be very useful for punching stuff when I self rose as a warlock. I also have both hands upgraded and I also have the Calbreakers gloves upgraded as well for when I'm running present of elders. We have the Egyptian helmet half upgraded I'm working on it right now. We have all five helmets fully maxed out and an iron banner helmet which I will be maxing out soon. Um, the ram is something I'm going to be using in crucible for that all void walker melee's trigger lifesteal on hit. Absolutely badass. Um, I'll just shove that on now so you can see it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the ram, the ram. So as you can see, my warlock is quite far ahead in all this kind of stuff. Um, I have a whole bunch of different bonds. I have the House of Devils bonds from um, Varix, Prison of Elders, where you use one token of judgment. I had to go with red because red's amazing. And I also have the warlock bond for Trials of Osiris, the one that you get dropped. Pretty damn decent, in my opinion. Doesn't go with this shader though, but above all, that is my character at level 34. Um, I think my Sunsinger is set up for PvP. Let's see what I use. Um, so we use the Fireball Grenades. And we ha use two grenades. So I'm just constantly throwing grenades. I've got my Toughness all the way up. I've got my Viking Funeral to burn longer and take more damage. I don't particularly feel like increasing the duration of Radiance is that important in Trials. Because you're more than likely going to res either on top of enemies where you don't need it to be a longer duration. Or you're going to res and run straight and revive someone. So that is why I do that. I have my damage in an enemy with Scorch reduces incoming damage. Um, Fireborn to come back from the grave. And yeah, so yeah, that's what I use is my Sunsinger setup. But let's go on to the Hunter and we'll use the Titan last because he's got all the weapons and stuff. So we're here on the Hunter, who is wearing a new monarchy thingy. But anyway, so I have a maxed out Galahorn. I haven't upgraded my Dragon's Breath yet. I have upgraded my Against All Odds, which is a PvP weapon. I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd upgrade it because I had loads of spare ferric light. I also upgraded the Corrective Measure and All Things Vault of Glass, well, most of them anyway. Um, we have. A crash shotgun, which I like, which I kept from before the stuff. I've got my Ephrodite Spear for final round in those Trials of Osiris moments. I've got my Max Star Icebreaker. Um, the Give Take Equation with Unflinching, so it's easier to aim under fire and increased range. Definitely useful, especially with Void, and it has accelerated coils, which makes it a boost. 
Um, next, we have the Ill Will Hand Cannon. I'd done a review on this the other day. And this weapon um, has two bullets, the final round bullet and lock in the chamber. That does 33% more damage. It does 95 to the head on a usual bullet. So it does about 130 to the head on those two bullets with seven in the magazine. So very, very useful in PvP to do some damage. We got the Fawn and Vex maxed out. I'm starting to level up my Jewel of Osiris, even though I'm not that fussed about it because I want the Adept version. I got a maxed out Messenger Adept, which is really damn cool weapon. I absolutely love this weapon. The targets on it are cool. Everything about this weapon is just cool. I got a Hygiene Nobilis, which I'm going to be re-rolling, and my Oversaw Edict, which I will upgrade soon. Um, I have a Fixer Cloak. As a cloak, I have my Devil's Cloak, which you get from Varix. But at the moment, I am wearing new monarchy. So I've got my feet here with increased heavy ammo, obviously, from Crota's End. I've got maxed out Radiant Dance Machines. They're the only two that I need. I don't really need anything else. I have the max, maxed out Vest of the Exile from Trials of Osiris. Two maxed out Exotic Chests and a maxed out Vanguard, I believe. Um, it was just there to get my level up when it first came. I want to dismantle that, but I'm just keeping it there just in case. I have the Kel Hunter's Rally Arms. As you can see, my Hunter's the most underdeveloped character so far um, this is useful for prison of elders generate more orbs while killing fallen enemies with melee attacks not that useful of a perk but you know it does come in handy at times uh, maxed out arms and then i got all maxed out exotic helmets and a maxed out unyielding cask from crota's end as well because i obviously need one legendary helmet in case i want to put another exotic on i've got the celestial nighthawk fully max which is awesome i love this helmet it looks amazing as well. And I actually really love the perk on it. Um, so yeah, those are the stuff. I usually use the Acne of Age Symbiote in Trials. So you get that extra shot. Maybe you kill two of them and you miss the third one with the third shot. And then you pop him with a fourth shot and kill him. So that is my Hunter, guys. Let's move on to the Titan. Right, so on my Titan, we have the Mark of the Devils um, thingy. We've got the Iron Banner, New Monarchy. Future Walker and Dead Orbit. I believe I'm leveling up Dead Orbit. Let me check. Let me check. I am indeed. I've got New Monarchy on the way as well. Um, I think I'll go New Monarchy for it. But anyway, I have my Crota Zen feet for carry more heavy ammo. I've got both the exotic feet for the Titan fully maxed out. The MK44 standard sights and the Peregrine Greaves. I actually made a video on these the other day as well. Um, I have the Kel Slayer's Q Race, which does greatly increased armor and melee recharge when fighting Fallen in Prison of Elders. Excellent role on that, the greatly, greatly increased armor, because it can be moderately or minimum. Um, and more ammo for special weapons, and more ammo for hand cannons. We also have two exotic chests maxed out, and the Iron Banner waiting to be put up. And we have a maxed out plate of the Exile, which carries more ammo for shotgun and hand cannon, which is obviously very useful in Trials of Osiris, because I play with four and shotgun. Um, we have the arms for increased melee attack speed, that's why I have those maxed out with the two exotics here also. And then we have all of the exotic helmets maxed out including the new Eternal Warrior which I'll put on and you can see, boom. And I have an Iron Banner helmet which is probably what I'm going to upgrade next with a Ferric Light because I need to be able to have a fully maxed out item here so I can wear some other exotics if I need to. So those are everything on those. Um, for the weapons, I have my Fang of Ear Ute ascended and maxed out. I have a hot, another Hygiene Nobles, which I don't want, so I've got one on the other character. I have the Zero Point LOTP with Firefly and one random bullet in the magazine does considerable bonus damage. And I also have Small Ball to increase its range and stability, but it's got a slower reload and a reduced magazine size. The reload's not that dramatically slower, so very useful rolls. I love this Scout Rifle, I think it's amazing. I have the Fatebringer fully ascended, I have the Vision of Confluence fully ascended, I have a Word of Crota waiting to be, and I have a maxed out Scala Adept Scout Rifle. This Scout Rifle is quite powerful and actually really fun to use, it's just a shame that the um, magazine is so small. I have a 2 to the Morgue fully ascended, one of my favourite shotguns to use, um, it's got incredible range, incredible damage, and this really really helps in Prison of Elders against those uh, Fallen with Shields, like the VIP mission where he comes running in and just blows away as soon as he comes out this door if you hit him with one of these shots it will take his shield down and do a bit of damage to him and then you just gotta horn him down very very useful i have a fully ascended patience and time i've got her courtesy a fully ascended black hammer icebreaker upgraded sun, uh, light of the abyss and eye of soul a sniper rifle fire damage um increased range. yeah i think it's increased range isn't it 
yeah, send it, range and accuracy, unflinching, and army of one. I love this sniper rifle. I think it feels really nice to use. It feels good to use. Um, I have a Thunderlord maxed out. I have a Galahorn maxed out. I have Jolder's Hammer waiting to be, MG18A's Harm's Way waiting to be, and a Song of EU waiting to be. But I have a MG18A Harm's Way with 100 bullets maxed out because I believe um, killing up scrap enemies in Prison of Elders is very useful with this weapon because you have 100 bullets, which means you don't have to reload as often. So those are what I have on my Titan currently because he was running Prison of Elders last night. And let's have a quick look in the vault at all the other weapons. So I've got a bunch of. Um, legendary engrams waiting. I have the Wolves Leash Scout Rifle which is what I'm going to be upgrading next. I have a Rude Awakening Shotgun which I use um, quite often in PvP as well because I have increased range and reduced stability with the shotgun so the range is better. Um, Battle Runner to increase the speed and range finder so you know you're running around aiming down sight smashing people you get a boost to your speed and you just keep running and keep doing it. We have the Vestian Dynasty, which is an amazing weapon. I have another Judgment 6 shotgun, which is another one that I use. Um, I have the close and or personal short period of 25% bonus melee damage after landing a hit with this weapon. So if I don't get a full kill and I punch straight after I shoot someone, I'm going to punch them to death. Um, and I also have army, army of 1, so if I do kill them with one shot, I get reduced grenade and melee cooldown. And then we can either have speed reload, quick draw, but I go with reinforced barrel for that increased range and reduced stability. And field choke for that little bit more impact. Very, very awesome um, shotgun. We have Servant of Axor, which I actually got from a Judgment's Chance. I didn't have to buy it this week. We have Herb Benevolence, which needs to be re-rolled. Subtle Nudge DN7, which needs to be re-rolled. Um, Hopscotch Pilgrim, which I started to use. Um, I don't know whether I like it or not. I'll probably re-roll it and see if I can get any decent perks. Payment 6, which is terrible, but I've got it maxed out because it's got um, Glass Half 4 and Outlaw. We have Her Right Hand, which I need to re-roll. We have Red Hand 9, which I had before um, before DLC came out. And it's got Final Round and Outlaw, which is pretty awesome. Final Rest 2, which is always a good fusion rifle to have, but I need to re-roll it. Her Mercy, re-rolling that also. Um, I have the 6 Dreg Pride which I got from a Judgment's Chance as well. Very very cool looking gun. Not the best hand cannon but it can suppress Fallen Captain's abilities so if you level this up it may be useful in Prison of Elders. I have a Gellion's Demise with Fatebringer perks which I'll never get rid of and will ascend one day soon. I have a Wolf Slayer's Claw which I haven't even touched since I bought it. I have an LDR 5001 which I do need to ascend. A Bad Juju which I'm going to ascend the truth, I'm going to ascend Plan C and Suros Regime, I'm going to ascend also. I've got a Tekion Force, which isn't the best fusion rifle in the world, but I'm going to reforge. I keep saying reforge, reforge. I have a Violator 12 Sniper Rifle, and it has Hidden Hand, gains better target acquisition, reload this weapon faster, and kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo, which is going to be useful in pvp but you know i have my ephrodites so it's just sitting in there for no reason and i have a trolley problem with an incredible impact on it and a accelerated coils but that'll probably be dismantled because i'll never use it but those are the weapons i have in my vault i've got a bunch of moats and a bunch of strange coins i've still got 28 exotic shards 42 passage coins token of flights and token of identity so i'm doing very very good at the moment with all my stuff. Um, let me just go and check the Postmaster. Have you got Welcome. anything for me? you got two packages waiting. Resolved. Let's go to the Cryptarch. Um, so yeah guys, those are my free level 34 characters. Let me know if any of you guys go have free 34s. When did you get them? I got mine last week. I just haven't got around to making a video on it yet. Let me know if you have all the exotics fully upgraded, what weapons you've upgraded personally. Hit that comment section hard, guys. Hit that like button even harder. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.